The following program contains dangerous stunts performed by professionals. Do not attempt to recreate or imitate any action seen in this program. Alright boys and girls, welcome back to a brand new video guys. And yes, yes, I know the last video you guys saw the uh, S uh, when I picked it up from the shop, but this is the first official ride of the S1000RR, the bike that everybody knows. Uh, this is the first official ride video that I'll be making and I definitely wanted to record this video because this is the first time I'll be riding this bike uh, for a long period of time. I don't know if the camera's picking up the carbon very well, but I did add a case cover, carbon case cover on the bike. Uh, so basically the whole bike's carbon now. Uh, we are still missing a little bit on the other side and uh, we have a small oil leak on that oil pan that we got to take care of. Uh, but the carbon wheels are all cleaned up. She's all cleaned up. I, I gave her a wash as you guys saw on my Instagram story. If you don't follow me on Instagram, go ahead and do so. That's where I'm really active and I post a lot of updates of what happens with the bikes. But with that being said, we got the boy Jorge again with us uh, on his beautiful M1000RR. Also fully specked out in carbon. That's how those bikes come. The only thing our bikes are missing is the carbon wheels. But we're gonna give this baby, uh, we're gonna give this baby a ride, uh, just how she deserves it. And man, she is gorgeous. How do y'all like the new decal on the on the gas tank? Um, man, I miss this bike so much. Uh, fingers crossed that everything goes well with this bike. I don't know how much gas I have, but I'll just pump gas uh, when I get to Fuel City. Uh, but yeah, guys, let's hit the road and uh, sit back and relax and enjoy the video. Like I was saying, the ECU is a little bit different uh, as far as it goes from the uh, uh, ABS. I did order an ABS Delete Kit from Motor Million. Uh, it's an Alpha Racing ABS Delete Kit that should be coming in here in the next few days and uh, I'll install it on the bike. Let me know if you guys want me to uh, do a video for that install. I've never done an ABS Delete on a bike, especially not an S1000. So definitely let me know down in the comments if you guys want to see a video about that. boys she is ready and um, not sure if y'all paid attention but on the last video I did mention that the bike no longer has a uh, Brent tune uh, flash on it it is uh, tuned and dynoed by uh, Texas super bikes they uh, kind of finished off some of the work that this bike needed at the end of the uh, engine swap like I said we did get our forks resealed, so the forks, the forks are back to being normal from all those dumb wheelies uh, that I was doing, which I'll probably still do. But she feels great, guys. I'm so happy to be back on the ass. But they replaced this, uh, this piece here, which is the entire uh, assembly. It used to be broken, so I wouldn't be able to navigate to the menu. It had been a few months, actually. Let's go to a different setting. Wow, she sounds beautiful! <laughs> oh, man! And this bike should be faster than the M now, which is kind of crazy. Uh, but it's also exciting. Man, that was hella traffic back there. How, how long was it? I think it was uh, March, April, May, and we're in June. So what, about four months? Four months without the S1K. A lot of people didn't know the engine blew up on it. Uh, but we had a brand new, well it's not brand new, but a 6,000 mile engine for a great price from the boy Sly. And we got a whole ECU install flash and everything by tech super bikes oh my god check tire pressure Pri pressure not at set point front and rear not uh, it's probably uh, it's probably the sensors because i haven't ridden it long enough uh, uh module right here on the front left headlight 
Uh, if you own a 23, 24 module, you'll see how they have a little sensor here. Uh, that's that's from that. So it's the new drifting they have uh, on the new S1000s. Obviously, mine's a 20, so it doesn't have that. So whenever we plugged in the brand new module, it doesn't. Obviously, there's nothing there on the harness. So um, that'll probably always show up here. The only thing is, oh man, I don't know how that's gonna work now that I have another ECU. I know you need the VIN number to connect it to a GS911. I don't know how that's gonna work out. Well, we already made it this far, so bike should be running great, right? If it's, let's take our temperature. Let's see. I feel like a kid with a new toy, man. We're at 196 temperature, so we're good. Sounds good. It feels good. <laughs> My can is kind of loose. Got to fix that. Well, guys, there you have it. She made it all the way down here. So the last few touches I have for it is we got to replace that sprocket and the sprocket nuts. Um, I already ordered some new ones and that Vortex uh, sprocket I hate it man when it has that uh, silver in it what's up G oh, yeah. good to see you man you too. it's hot out here brother Change the color? no 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 there's another one I got two yeah, rich mom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm testing it out man I just got it back so I got to see everything's working fine on it so is that like a, a damper yeah damper yeah 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 just a stabilize it's stabilizer the, it's attached to the whole like triple tree area, so like the forks, which is the front end, ah. and it's just stiffening it. That, that's that's all it does. It just stiffens the front end. All right, we had a quick drink out here. Oh, shit. and uh, these two homies pulled up, but uh, uh, they literally just pulled up. They're gonna get the, themselves a drink, but we're just gonna head out because I want to go watch the Mavericks game. Uh, as of now, I don't know if we're going to lose or win, but hopefully win, obviously, but um, we're talking about his uh, CBR. Might be like a 06, not sure, but he was telling me that his fairings blew out flew out the other day, and then homie has this uh, R7. I kind of like how the, uh, the, the wheels got powder coat on that. I wanted, I mean, I don't think that's stock, but it might be, because they got the color match on the, on the decal there, but uh, yeah. We're gonna go write this uh, uh, write this S a little bit faster. Test it out a little bit more and uh, call it a day, I guess. That's it. What do you guys think so far of the S? Uh, the little comeback. And hopefully we catch no traffic up in this uh, highway over here. We can rip it a little bit. Damn, it comes up in third? What the hell? <laughs>
feels good. She is so runny. God, I'm sorry YouTube. Forgive me for this. I know, you, I know you're kind of sensitive nowadays, but I can't post none of this stuff, but I just had to, man. I just had to. It's like second, third, and a little bit of fourth, it comes up. And that's with the uh, new uh, air box, the thin alcohol, uh, new air box, thin alpha head gasket, new coils, new spark plugs, fresh oil change. I mean, she is running good. The only concerning part right now would be the oil that is, uh, oh, sh Man, I took the wrong exit. I really wish we would have gone the Express. I know, I know George M is not like flash or anything, but that bike is still move. And honestly, guys, so far, I might, man, I don't want to, but I'm tired of the bike being so quiet. I kind of want to order just the headers, uh, some acro headers, titanium acro headers, and uh, slap them on the bike. Leave that same can, which is what Infamous Culture did on their S1K. And just until I get my exhaust, and then I can just sell it. I can just sell the whole thing, that's it. I don't, I don't know if, if I should do that or not, but let me know where you guys stay. I mean, I'm just tired of the bike not. Just tired of the bike not having any sound, no, no exhaust noise or anything. Uh, just kind of giving you guys a quick update on what's going on with that bike. I know the past few videos I've been um, hiding it from you guys on what exactly is being done. We know that the PPF was getting done on the on the bike, but you will never guess what happened to the bike. So stick around if you want to watch more videos. Check out the check out the channel. Check out some of the previous videos on the bikes. Uh, but from here on, we have the S1K back in our hands, boys, and I think we're just going to take full advantage of that. With that being said, I'm going to let you guys. Uh, Get out of here, get out of the YouTube app, and uh, go back to another social media app, because I know you boys just jumping around apps here, but I think this was a pretty good short, uh, not too short, but short video of uh, first ride on the S1000. Gave me no issues, we went all around Dallas, did a few pulls, uh, tried doing a few wheelies, but it does feel a little too aggressive to where I had to adjust to it. Besides that, I think uh, I'm just gonna ho go ahead and end the video here. Watch out for the debris, bro. Man, that's, that's bad. But uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and end the video here, guys. Thanks so much for showing the love out here on the YouTube channel. If you haven't already and you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed, please do so. It just takes literally half a second for you to click that subscribe button and give it a thumbs up, guys. Um, slowly but surely we're growing. Uh, we're coming close to 10K now here on the channel. And I, that just means that every single one of you watching behind this screen has been part of it. And we're gonna keep growing, guys, thanks to you. So, nothing with nothing else with that being said, with a lot of love from your boy S1K Rafa. I'm gonna catch you guys on the next one. Yeah, be safe, guys. Bye, kids. <laughs> love you guys. Peace.